everybody and welcome to my video report. I have been doing my assistance at Gimnasio Los Andes. This is a private school which was founded in 1969. However, this institution was inaugurated in 1991. It is located next to Jardines de Recuerdo and it's near to other schools as San Beatriz School. Additionally, Gimnasio Los Andes is near to Catan Club. This institution offers preschool, primary, and secondary school. The environment is really appropriate to students. We can find cafeteria, coliseum, language resource center, parks, among other facilities that school has for the students. I'm assisting preschoolers. I'm with preschool A, B, and C, but they call them transition. They are from 5 to 6 years old and there are 17 students approximately in each classroom. I have been assisting the English teacher on Fridays the whole year. They have English every day because they want to become a bilingual school for 2018. The English teacher includes the Spanish many times because she says that if we speak all the time in English, children are not going to understand anything. In that way, she sometimes mixes Spanish and English in the same sentence or she translates into Spanish immediately what she says in English. In some occasions, she uses the audiolingual method developed by Skin. And when we have class at 2.10 p.m., which is the last class we have, she tries to use the TPR, also known as Total Physical Response Method, developed by James Asher. That's why I set out the following question. How children from 5 to 6 years old could learn and use English as a second language without enough input? In order to determine the problematic and to set out my question, I have been taking field notes, I designed an interview to apply it to the teacher, and I recorded two of her classes. Moreover, I took into account the questions input hypothesis, the autolingual method by Skinner, the TPR by James Asher, and the Spanish theory. Thanks to the field notes that I have been taking, I could find sentences related to the Spanish theory. As solo once, van a keep a pencil in the pencil case, and van a close your notebook. But what's a Spanish? This is a form of a speech that results from an interaction between Spanish and English used by people who speak both languages or parts of both languages. This concept was first brought into literature by the Puerto Rican poet Salvador Tio. In the previous example, we could see how teacher tends to translate what she says, as well as in these examples. You haven't asked, no has preguntado. Look at the traffic lights. Miremos al semáforo. This example is related with the audiolingual method, also known as the army method, because it consists in listen and repeat. I could notice that children don't have understood some of the concepts and they are unable to produce orally all the topics studied up to date. However, using Spanish and the audiolingual method sometimes seems to be useful for them. I could notice that the teacher not only can continue using some aspects of her methodology, but also she can try to speak always in English using body language and graphics. Created using Powtoon.